A number of Rhode Island cities and towns are holding off on sending out those car tax bills. And that's because they might have to change them if the plan to phase out the car tax makes it through the General Assembly. Iowa News reporter Rosie Woods has the follow-up. I spoke to Mayor Avedesian today in Warwick. He tells me he is in no rush to make a decision. Pawtucket Johnson and now Warwick mayors are all stalling sending out car tax bills, waiting to see what happens this Thursday, as the budget is expected to be voted on by the full House. There are a couple of things that we can do if, if we know the budget's going to pass, and um, that would set up about a week's worth of time. Then we'll probably delay by a couple days to make sure that they're fully accurate. If the city thinks there's going to be a delay, Avedesian says they will issue the tax bills as currently formulated and provide supplemental credits to future quarters of taxes if necessary. What would you rather do? Um, either one is fine. I think what we're going to do is we'll know better on Thursday as to where we stand, and then uh, on Friday we can have a better uh, plan for whether or not we just go with the existing tax bills or if we wait. Traditionally, Rhode Islanders receive their vehicle tax bills at the end of June or beginning of July. But these mayors agree a few days could prevent a lot of unnecessary paperwork. We want to make sure that we're um, giving them the most up-to-date information possible. We don't want someone to, even if it is just a week, we don't want someone to have paid something that they don't need to pay and then we have to go and credit that. Avedesian also tells me he will be making a decision on what to do about this by this Friday or next Monday. In the control room, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.